as we know, I'm a Lululemon girl. Let me show y'all this outfit because girl, girl. Do we see the colorway, the pastels on the dark skin? Yeah, Lulu and Lemon were in that lab. Lululemon stuff like this make you want to dance. This might be one of my favorite colorways. The founder of Lululemon said, this, this wasn't for you. His name is Chip Wilson. He is a billionaire and he is not happy with the diversity and inclusion efforts that's going on at Lululemon saying you've got to be clear that you don't want certain customers coming in. Hmm. More specifically, he says the definition of a brand is that you're not everything to everybody. You've got to be clear that you don't want certain customers coming in. And apparently this isn't the first time that he has expressed some kind of disdain for women who are, I guess, not white and upper middle class and thin. There was that whole controversy about his clothing not being size inclusive. You can read more down here. And before he stepped down from the company, he said basically they don't work for some women's bodies and pretty much just had no plans to be inclusive. Now, in a statement provided to Fortune, a spokesperson for Lululemon says that Chip Wilson no longer works for Lululemon and that his comments do not reflect the values of the company. And that since his resignation, he just hasn't been involved in the company, I guess, whatsoever. Which, yeah, okay. But Lululemon girl, you are not being the allegations. Like, it's very clear that Lululemon was never for us. For us. It was never for anyone who doesn't look like Paris Hilton or who doesn't have private school money. I feel like he's the bold one that comes out and say that he doesn't want people of color he doesn't want big people he doesn't want he's a bold one many of this fashion people feel the same way they just won't say it so why are you gonna crucify him and not crucify and not crucify your gucci your louis vuitton your balciaga because they have the same mindset they're just not bold enough to say okay we don't accept necessarily you guys but we, 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 we yeah we have no choice but to, because you're forcing us into inclusivity meanwhile we are not so we don't like the people we don't like other people we just can't talk to us but you don't get it you know so uh it's going to be very interesting to watch people even defend this and this girl Again, the dark one, the lovely dark lady, I forgot her name, but this lovely woman, she she has this thing of being very, very picky nippy with things. Very nippy, picky, sincerely. Uh, she sees one thing and then she goes with it. Like one little bit of inclusivity, even when she has to beg and plead for it. All right? And I think it's going to be with that other thing, with also the shade, right? The foundation thing. And if they get it right completely, she'll be the one years later doing a review and be like for the dark skin girl. When none of these companies did that until Rihanna started putting out multiple things and then they started because they saw how it made Rihanna rich. But all this time they weren't doing inclusivity talk. They ended at a certain range. They were not doing that kind of thing so it's very interesting to watch very it's very inter interesting to watch certain things unfold because the whole industry is very fraud is very fake and they don't like us they don't like us they don't want us and they try to be inclusive but it's not their pool of range. They don't want to expand there. I feel some of them, when they see how their brand have taken a fold, they feel like flipping into the grave. So they don't like this. They don't like this at all. And as you guys pushing this inclusivity talk, with these brands, which they really do not care about big people, people of color, whatever, they just don't want. They just want white people in those cycles and if you're not white and you're doing this kind of things lululemon eight and you're spending thousands of dollars for a brand that does not care and then soon later they're funding genocides for you know for people that look like you but it's your money it's your money that's aiding them it's the, your money that's giving the power because you want to be seen you want to feel like you're important because you're wearing their brand same brands that don't care about you hmm? 
because it boosts your self uh, a self esteem, the, the one that you don't have currently. So I've always loved Lululemon. Like I loved their clothes. I loved everything about them, like their leggings, and especially um doing cheer in a predominantly white area. Like all the girls used to come to practice in their Lulu sets, their leggings, and like it was just really giving. Like it gave body and everything. So for Mother's Day, I even got my mom the Lululemon um side bag, like the fanny pack, and she loved it. But ever since I've seen the CEO or whatever he is of Lululemon say what he said that oh how he made his band for a certain type of people and stuff like that every time I just see a Lululemon store like I just get dumb tight and then when I see black girls worshiping and bragging about all the Lululemon sets that they have I just get even more tight because it's just like girl he don't even want your black ass wearing his stuff like and you over here spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on it like please like I don't know it just hurts my soul and if i was to see that man <laughs> he all like certain type of people like sir you're dumb ugly <laughs> tiktok don't take my video down it's for entertainment purposes for real but no he like did y'all see that man did y'all see what he looks like like please and he talking about certain type of people like us black queens look better than you your wife and anybody <laughs> Like, bro, it's really no pressure, though, because I'm going to find me a cute little yoga set that look just like Lululemon, probably even better at Forever 21 or whatever. Like, if you know, then you know Forever 21 active sets eat. So when are we going to talk about the fact that a lot of you guys fight to wear designer brands that are designed by people that hate you? Lululemon has already said that they are not for black people and they are not for fat people. And if you are either of the two, prior to the brand making that statement, why are you still purchasing from them? And then we get on this app and wonder why our counterparts don't take our black activism seriously. When it comes down to the little stuff, you can't sacrifice a Lululemon set for your dignity, for some respect. My bad. I'm sorry to interrupt the name brand Olympics that you guys like to play on this app fighting again for purses shoes where if these people literally saw you on fire they wouldn't even spit on so while you say well you know i'm a little lemon girl he's like i don't want you wearing my stuff girl please get them off get them off you i do not want you wearing my stuff even when they say this recommends blah 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 they're not listen that guy he's up in tides about people wearing his stuff and then he does not want to extend his brand out like he's a billionaire for a reason. He has influence, okay? They still listen to him, okay? He said he said he said his stand. And he's the only one who managed to be proud and come out and be like, listen, duckies, stay away. Stay away. And many of them feel the same way. They just then don't want to lose their revenue that funds genocides, basically.